This week, we are hunting waterfalls in the Brecon Beacons in Wales. Waterfall photography is not my strong point. Follow along with me as I explore this beautiful waterfall hike as I try to improve my composition confidence. I find waterfalls busy and chaotic. I see other photographers make easy work of locations like this and I've come here to try and find a sense of calm in the chaos. The best way to develop yourself as a photographer is to focus on the areas that need improvement. Approach it with an open and curious mindset and the rest will follow. Welcome to another vlog. It's very loud where I am, so hopefully you can hear me okay. We're taking some long exposures of some stunning waterfalls and I'm in a place called Tallybot Forest, which I've shot in recently. And I've come back here because I really want to try these Nisi Swift filters that just pop on the end of the lens. I have a collection with me. They're very easy to use, versatile. The glass is really good quality. And I also just want to see how it is in the field using. I've used it at the coast recently and now using it at waterfalls under perfect conditions. You've got still weather, no wind. You've got slightly overcast skies, which is perfect because you don't want highlights in the water. And then you have lots of rainfalls. So these waterfalls are pounding with water, rushing down from the top of the hills, down into the bottom of the reservoir here. And it's just such a stunning location to capture. This is the first time in a long time where I'll be able to do some long exposure photography when it is just myself. And I'm really making the most of that freedom, that opportunity to connect with nature and get back into my love for photography. I've really discovered this passion, this drive to come to these locations. And I really want to make the most of it by coming away with some images and hopefully capturing some decent long exposures. Let's have a little look and see what we can capture. better than this. I found this composition hiking up this little trail here. You've got these like multiple waterfalls. You've got little pockets and what I quite like is that you've got the, the waterfall at the top here and you don't have that sky that's included too much. You know we do have clear skies now which is really beautiful. Nice light, soft light coming through. It's not too bright. The conditions are good because it's not windy. This is the perfect kind of uh, location and conditions to shoot waterfalls. So I'm going to get set up, take this image here, and then carry on along the uh, route through waterfall country in Tallybot Forest, which is just a unspoken gem. The one thing I like about this location is that it's not very busy. So if you go to the four waterfalls in um, Brecon, you know, there's a lot of people there. There's a lot of um, trips that are arranged there. There's lots of... Um, uh, you know, incursions that people can do and I do feel like I just want to nestle away and focus on my photography and I know that's probably quite selfish of me but I actually quite like that time with just you and nature and I've only seen two people here today, one car in the car park and I've been here for a few hours so this is very much an unspoken gem of the Brackens and there's so many waterfalls here, you have them all at your disposal to come and shoot. So I'm going to set up now, take this image, and then carry on exploring the rest of this stunning walk. It's pretty amazing. So a deer just came through, and they obviously can't hear me because of the waterfall. So it's still there now, but I can't quite capture it on my camera. But I'm just going to take a minute, come off camera, and just enjoy this moment, and then take some images. A section from my poetry diary 
inspired by these waterfalls. This one's called the flow. Your creative flow is fluid. It's water. It runs before you, dancing and escaping. There is no beginning or end. It pushes and pulls, shapes and carves, as it rushes before you, flowing and swirling. Your creative mind is bursting. It's flooded. It ripples through you, whirling and bubbling. There is no end or beginning. It drips and drops, trickles and stops as it moves within you, rising and flowing. Now this waterfall behind me is one I wanted to walk up before and I had my eight week old son with me when I did my last waterfall video and things change. When you become a parent you're much more aware of your safety, your vulnerability and being beneath powerful waterfalls like this with this rush of water just makes you realise just how vulnerable you are and how safe you have to be. And I'm taking extra care now, just walking up this um, pathway to the waterfalls. But even more so with him, I wouldn't come up here with him and I'd stick to the main path. So in some ways there is that restriction. And I did feel like I was missing out. I did feel like I, you know, I've not been able to do the things that I did before. I guess we are all in some ways adventure seekers and thrill seekers and we have to keep doing things that we enjoy, obviously being safe, but you know, going to places like this, you know, I'm not far, I'm far from the edge, um, but I still have to be very careful and I feel very connected. I feel very much engaged with life and the power of where I am. It's really quite amazing. So to come back with that freedom, I really appreciate. And I can't say to you enough just how much it makes a difference to be true to who you are, still do the things that you enjoy you can be a parent and you can also be a landscape photographer or you can be a BMX specialist or whichever. You don't have to make those sacrifices all of the time. You do have to make the sacrifices sometimes. I am, I'm not able to get out um, as easily without him as I am right now. You know, I don't have childcare nearby and people have traveled quite far today just to allow me to go out and take pictures. So my message to you would be if you have the freedom to just leave the house and go wherever you want to go, go and do it. Go out now, grab your camera bag for me, do it for me, where I might not be able to have that freedom as much anymore. I can't come to locations like this and get far into the hills. He is heavy now. He is, you know, four months old. So yeah, make the most of the time you have and the freedom that you have because you just never know how it may change you could have an injury you could become unwell you know you just you just don't know and I'm not saying I'm not comparing a child to being seriously unwell but I am comparing it to a different um, lifestyle and having to make sacrifices where you can't do things as you did before because now common sense and being a mother comes into it which is an amazing journey and it's a beautiful, beautiful thing. And he adds to my life in more ways than I could have ever imagined. But also there are changes and sacrifices and it's important to recognize that and to continue to do the things that you enjoy and that you're passionate about as best you can. So go outside, grab your camera, go and take some pictures and enjoy the freedom. Do it, do it for me. You know, it's, it's there waiting for you. Just go and take it. Now back to some more waterfall hunting. There were so many to explore and I didn't have time to visit each one. I felt drawn to climbing higher and I wanted to get off the main route and get amongst the trees. I was looking for waterfalls that would be a challenge to compose. 
I wanted to build on my ability to see the calmness in the water and its surroundings. I managed to find one which did exactly that. A busy scene which needed me to tune in and connect. Connect with that creative flow which was just getting warmed up. So I'm trying to position myself somewhere very safe and very comfortable. A lot of the rocks are quite slippy, so you don't want to catch yourself out and go sweeping downstream with your very expensive camera gear. So in my composition here, I'm just going to try and get this tripod and this camera facing this position here. And what my plan is, is to have the subjects of this foreground. You can just about see there's a waterfall here. Um, I want to include that as well. So you do have something on the left, something on the right and something in the far ground. And one thing I don't want is I don't want the sky in my image. So let's pop this tripod down at last <laughs> and hopefully I can get an image of this stunning waterfall. I'm just trying to precariously position myself so I don't get myself or my camera in the water. I found this a real challenge to compose and edit. The composition felt too busy and the image didn't go to plan. It's only when I truly focused and let go of what I thought your typical waterfall image should be and what it should include, did I truly see better compositions and come away with a photograph that really felt like me. Now that is us finished walking back to the car. I have felt that that was a successful trip. I have really enjoyed using the Swift Nisi uh, ND system. I'm not being paid for this video, but they have kindly sent me the filters to try out. Um, and the reason why I've done a video about it is because obviously I'm a mum parent and I don't have long on location vlogging. So I need a system and something that's a bit faster than having to get my filter holder system out. So I'm very much on board with the um, uh, magnetic filters um, I think it's the case do and also the um, Nisi uh, Swift system which is stackable you can pop them on and off and they're very useful uh, some honest tips I'd say if you've got a mirrorless camera you can still achieve the same results without the filters um, because of the image stabilization within the camera and the lens you can get some really long ex nice long exposures without having to use filters and today I just wanted to test and see if I could get uh, the same results, which on occasion I could. It's really going to come into its own when you're at Seascapes, like my last video. I wouldn't have been able to achieve those results without a uh, filter. I feel like it really did help with slow down my shutter speed. And longer exposures, again, Seascapes are quite useful for that. If you really want to have movement in the sky, uh, capture the light, the colours, I'm happy with the coloration of the filters, everything seems to be looking good, so I'll only really know when I get into Photoshop later, but as a whole they're good filters, and like I said, no payment for this video, just sent some stuff from Nisi because I've worked with them before, and pretty happy with the uh, usability and efficiency of this new ND Swift system. So I'm going to love you and leave you there, thank you so much for joining this video, and I'll see you in the next, which will be in the next week or two. Take care of yourselves and thank you so much for supporting my channel. See you in the next.